Madrid, Poland, Fro knows photo.com and this is an early morning edit for me and it is the raw edit of the week number 60 adam and my edits for this week if you would like to see your edits of the week number 60 please click on the screen right now and throughout the rest of the video so i'm going to edit this photo first and then adam's going to come in and edit it and then we will discuss our edits together so here's a shot that he took with the d3s backstage 24 to 70 um when he was doing fashion week now the first thing i noticed here it's it, it's questionable where the focus is um now that happens a little bit with the 24 to 70 because when you zoom in this far like from here everything looks fine but don't forget when you zoom in uber duper close you know you may bring out some of the non-focus areas now it's close and i think you know, the lips are in, the eyes are very, 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 very close. And in, in most cases, you won't even notice a difference. So what do I want to do here? First, I want to start with the color. I want to try to bring the color back to a place where I find it to be appealing and then go from there with my edit. Um, so let's see what we got. I'm going to go up with my exposure a little bit, just like I tend to do quite often. Start there. Um, let's see. I love taking out the yellow. And then I also love getting rid of some of this magenta. And there we've got it right back to a place where I, I personally like it. I like the white balance here. It's more of a clean image. Um, we'll see if I tweak it to make it a little more yellow in the, in the future. But I want to start right here with something white like that. And I go and pump the contrast up. We know that. That's my MO. And I like the way that's looking so far. Here we've got... The before, here we've got the current. I'm using the key with the slash like this, or it's like this, depending on which way this camera's facing. It's on the right-hand side of the keyboard. Boom, that's where it started. That's where we're at right now, and I'm liking that. Uh, clarity, a little bit of clarity. Don't want to go too far, because look what happens. It looks uber-duber bad. So we pull back on the clarity there. Just a little bit. Fill light, eh, not right now. Black levels, probably not, because it just makes the image look too hard. So there's some fill light with black levels. Now let's see what happens if we take black levels to nothing and fill light to nothing and see if it looks exactly the same. There, no. It actually looked pretty good. So bump that and follow it with a little bit of fill light, and I'm liking what it's doing right there. This is a simple edit right here. So there we go. We've got that. Let's see what we've got with color. Oop. Let's see. What's strong contrast looking like? It's nice. Look at the eyes. They're beautiful, beautiful eyes. I don't want to make them pop anymore. I like what's going on there. I just made the con uh, I just made the tone level stronger. I'm liking the color because it really makes her eyes go boom and, I, and I'm thinking it would be really really good when we get to um, when we get to the um, what's it called black and white let's see what we can do with pumping the pink in here yeah nothing split toning don't want to split tone it don't want to vignette it I'm just going to play with this just a little more to get this color to where I want it to be. Yeah, I'm just going to pull out the rest of the, the, the white, or sorry, the yellow to make it more white. Because it's about the eyes, it's about the lips. And I know it's a little, you know, it's lacking that, that warmth, but, you know, I'm stuck in between wanting to, uh, you know what, I'll do that. And I don't want to crop it. I think that the importance of the image is that this gentleman's right here cutting the hair, and then she's staring right at the camera. I mean, that could be a crop. But it's just uber duber too much. Well, let's play with it anyway. And let's see how that looks. No, no, I want to keep the original way that Adam had his photo because that's how he had his photo. And the color is just throwing me off slightly. But I'm going to have to move on from here a little bit. Maybe it's part of the exposure. I want it to be a little... No. I'm going to stick with my guns here. 
I'm going to go with that. All right, let's number one. Let's get to a black and white, utilizing the black and white. There we go. I'm going to take it right to the edge of where it's overexposed because that's just what I like doing. I'm going to go up with my contrast a little more. See, that's what I like. I like dark areas and light areas in my photos. I like, you know, when it gets to that extreme part where the blacks just pop and the whites are kind of like blown out. That's just my style of editing and that's my style of shooting. That's what I used to do in the darkroom too. So we got a basic here. No, that's too far on that. There we go. There we go. We got that. No recovery slider. I can't wait to break into Lightroom 4. I just have not had a chance to download. Well, I've downloaded it. I just haven't loaded it yet. So there we go. We got a black and white right there. I'm going to save that as number two. So here we go. We got my color, which I would like to pop a little more. I'm still, I'm still a little. Let's see if the vi. There we go. I'm going to do that. And that's too much with the saturation. And uh, somewhere in between here, boom. We're going to call that three. I'm going to use two and three. I'm going to get rid of one. Goodbye, number one. Here's two. Here's three. Adam, you're up. Adam Lerner, and welcome to this week's Raw Edit number 60. Wow. And uh, this week we have one of my files. This is a uh, backstage photo from Fashion Week. And, uh, you know, this is part of the process of the models getting ready. Uh, this, this model obviously getting her hair done and making some uh, pretty fierce eye contact, which uh, definitely makes for a good backstage photo. We've got the context of the hairdresser. So all good stuff. Um, just off the bat, uh, let's just take a look really quick. This was ISO 1600. And, uh, you know, we got some nice detail, but we got a little bit of kind of a, you know, maybe a yellowish greenish hue to it. So I definitely want to fix up the white balance, give it a little bit more punch and pop, uh, maybe sharpen it up a little bit because I don't think it's that, I don't think it's 100% sharp. I think it could have been a little bit sharper around the eyes, whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we might also want to go black and white. Um, I also think we were going to do a little crop over here because uh, there's a little something just kind of tucking into the frame over there. So let's actually start with that. So I'm just going to bring that up right here and I'm just going to leave that crop like that. I don't mind, you know, just taking it in a little bit tighter up here. It's fine. And that works for me. Okay. And one thing I should also mention is that I am back in Lightroom 4, in the Lightroom 4 beta, because any chance I get to experiment with this, I think is a good one and no better chance than the raw edit. All right. So let's just check our exposure. And, you know, it's not bad. I mean, if you look at the histogram, you know, we've got some nice, uh, nice information right in where we want it. So I'm not really going to touch that right now. I am going to just bring the color balance down just a touch. And, you know, the thing that's interesting about Lightroom 4 is that it's really sensitive. Um, it's also uh, a little bit quirky. There's some latency and such. So I'm just going to kind of just do something like that. Let's look at the before. Oh, hey, you know, that was from a previous edit. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, so let's just keep going on where we are. I'm going to add some clarity to it. Something like that. And, you know, I don't want to get too much on the clarity because I don't want to make it too, too crazy looking. I'm just going to add some blacks and I'm masking things off here. Oh, going the wrong way. There we go. It's funny because the sliders are definitely different in Lightroom 4. Um, let's see. Whites I think are okay. And let's just go with some shadow. Oh, interesting. That's pretty cool. Maybe like a little bit less on the shadow detail and the whites. We'll just pump those up just a touch. Just see what happens when we go way up. That's interesting how that works like that highlights. All right, so let's just go and keep that at about there. Um, exposure, you know, I think I'm just going to keep that where it is. Contrast, I could just add a little bit more contrast like that. Yeah, I kind of like where that's headed. Um, I'm actually going to bring the highlights down because I think it's just too much. And you know, the interesting thing about Lightroom 4 is that when you bring the highlights down, you just end up getting much more detail. So that's very cool. Um, it's going to give it a little bit more yeah, it's a little bit yellow. Let's split the difference. Let's keep that around there. It's going to give a little bit more in the tint. This is a tough one because the color balance is just kind of weird. 
Um, all right, let's just kind of, I guess we'll keep it right about there. Um, point curve, let's see what happens with medium contrast. That's nice, it just gives more shaping to uh, the contours of her face. I, th I still think we could bring the highlights down just a little bit more. Something like that, you know, because it's very, she's very shiny on her face. Um, that's very cool. I'm going to leave that about that. I'm not going to touch the HSL right now. I'm going to do some sharpening, so I'm just going to bring this up to about there and mask things off so that I can sharpen the edge detail and not so much on the textures. Do something like that. Yeah, I'm really liking kind of where that's headed right now. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to back the vibrance and the saturation down just a touch. Just, just, just to give it a little bit more subtlety. Well, saturation... Yeah, I don't want her to look like a zombie, you know, and that's the one thing that's happening here. Let's just see what happens when we back this down. Just, just, I just want to soften this up. You know, maybe the clarity. Maybe we just need to bring the clarity down. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, okay. I'll, I, I can live with that. And, you know, while we're here, you know, she's got these incredible bluish-green eyes. Let's just give them a, just a tiny, tiny enhancement. All right, so let's go in here and we'll select the Iris Enhance. And I'm going to reduce my brush tool, and I'm going to hit the O for Overlay, and I'm just going to paint some of the iris and hands over her iris. And I'm going to do the same thing on her other eye. Something like that. And I think I'm just going to um, undo um, or erase right where in the center of her eye. There we go. Um, let's just get these to match. That's pretty good. And let's get the overlay off. Okay, that's a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna bring the exposure down on this. And just I just want a subtle, just a subtle bump. Somewhere around like there. Okay. Close and we're gonna zoom out. And that's 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 actually pretty cool. Um I'm kinda liking where that's headed right now. Still not 100% sure on the skin tone. So you know what? Let's just try something out that's kind of cool here that we have in Lightroom 4. I'm going to go back into my brush tool, hitting the K, and I'm going to just go and I'm going to, um, you know what, I'm just going to read, let's just, let's just go into color temp, okay? And I'm just going to paint some color temp on her face. You know, because I think that the white balance otherwise is not bad. And I'm just going to put the overlay key on so I can just see where I'm painting. Because I just don't, you know, I just want to make sure I just get it on her face and on her skin tones. So I think that that's really what's kind of weird for me. And I'm just trying to just warm up her face a little bit because everything else kind of looks pretty cool. But that's the nice thing about Lightroom 4 is that you now have the ability to selectively paint white balance. How fun is this? All right. And, you know, I'm not doing like this most spectacular job. I know this is a five minute edit. So I'm, you know, just doing, doing what I can over here. I'm just going to erase. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just going to erase with uh, the option key. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit and I'll just erase, you know, areas that I don't want to change the white balance because I want these areas to look the way they are. So I'm just erasing it out of here. Just hold that over there. I'm just going to keep her lips the same color that they were. Come on. Yeah, there's definitely some latency with uh, Lightroom 4, but you know what? That's all going to get worked out, you know, for the time being. It, it, it works for me. All right. Um, let's see. I don't really want her eyebrows to change color either. So I'll just undo those. She does have great eyebrows. All right. And I'm doing, you know, the best that I can over here. You know, it's easy enough to fix. Uh, we'll just do that, and I'll just fix this back over here, paint that back in there, something like that. All right, now, she looks kind of like a zombie. I'm going to hit the uh, K tool, well, let's hit the overlay tool to get the overlay off. And that's kind of cool, you know, she's got a little bit more kind of warmth to her skin. I'm just going to bring that color temperature up a little, that's too much. Somewhere in there. That's really nice, that's actually really cool. Um, I wonder what happens if we just bring the highlights just down selectively on her face like that. Hey, you know, give her a tan. I'm not too too fond of that. But you know what? I think that I've messed with this enough. So I'm going to hit the K. We're going to get out of that. So that's going to be my color edit right there. And I'm going to save that as a snapshot. And I'm going to save that as snapshot one. Okay. Boom. 
Now, I feel like this needs a black and white edit. So let's just get into a black and white edit really quickly. I'm gonna hit the V key, takes us into the black and white module. And uh, yeah, that's not bad. I'm just gonna add some more contrast. There we go. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more highlight detail. And I'm just gonna bring the whites up just a touch like that. And uh, that's pretty cool. I think the shadows are a little bit dark, so I'm just gonna bring those up a little bit. Yeah, that works for me. A little more. Not bad, not bad. So let's make that our black and white edit, and I'm just gonna call that edit number two. So we've got our color, and we've got our black and white. Okay, so uh, that's all for now for me. Let's go off and see what Jared's got. All right, we're back. We've got Adam Lerner in the bottom right corner with his hood up because his hair's not did. Well, that's what I just said about my hair. So uh, what's going on? Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Thank you. We had a very fun weekend. It's Monday when we're recording this. and uh, It's the day after. or Two, two days, days after. after. You fully recovered now? Oh, yeah. I was recovered the next uh, yesterday, sort of. Nice. I nice. Mean, I, only, I didn't go to bed till like four after the party, but wow, it was all good. You kind of did it up. It's yeah, great. No, we had a lot of fun. The band was great, and we'll have that video up shortly um, of the band playing the party, which was really, really cool. So, yeah. Fantastic. So, here we go. We've got raw edits, Adam. Number 60, your photo. Yep. We've uh, so from left to right, we've got my color edit, we've got Adam's color edit, we've got my black and white, followed by Adam's black and white. Yeah, mine looked like really kind of dark and muddy um, compared to yours, so I think you win. I think so too. So, um, yeah, you know, I was, I realized that, it's not ex not any excuse, but I was in Lightroom 4 and the thing that's that's unfortunate, and I I don't know if it's just me or it's probably most people. There's a lot of latency, so when you move a slider, things don't happen right away. And um, I think uh, I think I just kind of got a little frustrated with it. Didn't really take my time. But yeah, I, um, I haven't downloaded. I mean, I have downloaded it. I haven't installed it yet. But obviously, that's the difference between a beta and a final product. So you know, for you guys that may notice the same thing that Adam's noticing, it's not. Adobe's, you know, don't get angry with them because it is clearly a beta and it's all right. meant to, you know, you work out the bugs and then they fix them before it's probably going to be, f what, five months until they finish this product or so? Who knows? Could be. Yeah, um, yeah I, like, I like your edit. I mean, it, you know, the thing is like your color looks a little blue and, um, you know, like, I don't know, just kind of has like a bluish cast. Yep. But... Um, with and, and the face is so blown out, but you know her eyes look fantastic, and uh, it, it's just much more impactful. So I'm just gonna forget mine. Just take mine out of there this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me. I'll just. I'll just. I. You know what? Honestly, I just wanted to go for something a little bit more subtle, um, a little bit warmer, a little bit less. You know, over the top. I. I really brought the highlights down to try to bring more of her skin tones into it and I think in doing so we just we just lost a lot or at least I feel like I lost a lot in this one well, comparatively. I will, I will say in the past I've no I know what the what it feels like to sit there and realize that when like you put up a really awesome crunchy black and white and I'm sitting there going, oh snap. I wish I did that. I wish I would have done that and 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 all of that. So it, it really you know it changes from week to week. You know, some weeks you you feel it and other weeks you you think you got it and then you go, oh I didn't think of that. Um but, you know, it, it, it happens. And, and you're right, with the blue cast, my goal for this was to get, like, a white balance that I was happy for. And I was fighting between happy for, a white balance I was happy with. Um, happy I was, for. I was, I was fighting between um, adding more yellow and not adding more yellow. And it was just like a, it was like a battle, and I just finally stopped. Well, you know it. what I did is I, I selectively warmed up her face um, because in Lightroom 4, you can add adjustment brushes just for white balance. So I took the color temperature, and that's why, you know, her face is, you know, yeah. got that kind of warmth to it. Um, but I think that just in looking at these, you know, they're just dark, and um, they just, they don't pop. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We'll, we'll but have anyway, to. nice job on your part. I think um, the way her eyes are really connecting um, really makes it more special. So. Nicely done, my man. 
Thank you, Adam. Thank you. It's a new year for me. It's a new. The only new thing I did though is I cropped that little thing. If you look in the lower left corner, there's like yep. an arm. Yeah, I was going to uh, ask you that. I was going to ask if it, it looks slightly different from mine. It, you know, like a little lower, so you crop. I, I wanted to. I, I tested doing a crop, but then I was like, no, this is how Adam shot it. I didn't even notice the thing in the bottom corner personally until you just pointed it out. I didn't notice it honestly until we decided to use this for the raw edit. Right. Um, it's so subtle that you don't really notice it because of her eye contact. They're so, you know, kind of they draw you in so nicely. So yeah, but it's there. And one one thing, did you have room for a seventy to two hundred, or you didn't have much room back there? Oh, dude, it's crazy back there. Yeah. I mean, seventy two hundred would have been fantastic, but this was shot at seventy. Yeah. So uh, you know, look, it's not impossible to shoot with the seventy two hundred, and I actually have it for these shows because I'm shooting runway with it. But when you're kind of in that tight space, if, if you've got that on your camera, yeah. you're going to miss out a lot of stuff. All right, yeah. I, w I was just inquiring because I didn't even notice the Fuji water bottles in the back until right. I was looking like through a bunch of the, the, the raw edits of the week. I didn't yep. really notice it. And then I was like, oh, that wasn't in all the pictures. And then I went back. I'm like, oh, it was in all the pictures. Mm. So, yep. yeah. Anyway. All right. So we'll come back with a uh, number 61 coming up. Haven't picked the image yet. Going to work on that for today, uh, amongst other things. And then we will bring that to you guys to see what you are able to do with it. Don't forget that there is a red sale going on in the store uh, for all things red. It's a birthday slash Valentine's Day sale going on. And, nice. Nice. Um, yeah, two shirts, one shirt. I got my red T-shirt, actually. It's it came pretty in the awesome. mail? Yeah. Awesome. And you'll get your hoodie when you get here. Awesome. I can't for wait the, for that. For the Frodo walk. Frodo walk. You're coming, right? Hell yeah. Adam's coming for the Frodo walk. So it'll be fun. Don't forget Frodo walk. All right, Adam. We'll see you uh, for the next edit. All right. See you. All right. Jared Poland, Frodo's photo.com. See ya.